Infusia SP7S training video. This product is for veterinary use only in the United States. The purpose of this video is to provide training on the use of the Infusia SP7S syringe infusion pump. Please note, please refer to the Infusia SP7S instructions for use for a complete list of instructions, warnings, and precautions associated with the use of this product. Please ensure that there is no visible damage to the Infusia SP7S device before every use. Please also ensure that the Infusia SP7S device is charged for at least 8 hours before first use. Front view of the device. Let's familiarize ourselves with the front of the pump. The area of the pump with the screen and the keys is referred to as the front panel. The syringe holder holds the syringe in place. The flange slot is where the syringe flange is inserted. The plunger lock locks the plunger and pusher in place. The plunger detector detects the presence of the syringe and the size of the syringe. Back view of the device. The carrying handle is on the top back of the device. On the back of the pump, the pull clamp is used to secure the pump to an IV pole or a cage. There is also an AC power inlet which you can use to connect the device to AC power. There is an uppercase and a lowercase. There is also a nameplate that has the make and model number and device serial number. Front panel of the device. Let's familiarize ourselves with the front panel. On the top left, there is an alarm indicator, which lights up when the pump is alarming. The AC power indicator lights up when the pump is connected to AC power. On the left-hand bottom, there is an on-off switch that allows you to turn the pump on and off. On the top right, the bolus indicator shows when the pump is in bolus mode. The infusion indicator lights up when the infusion is running. The syringe button is used to recall the menu on the screen. The increment decrement buttons are used to navigate the menu by moving up and down the screen. You can use the bolus purge button to deliver a bolus to the patient or purge the infusion set. The button with the arrow is called the switch button that you can use to move to the next option, lock or unlock the keyboard. The OK button is used to confirm a setting on the pump or to acknowledge and clear the alarm and as a return button or confirm the mode. The mode button that shows a bell and cross through it is the silence alarm button that is used to silence the alarm. The start pause button is used to start the pump and also to pause the running pump. Here are the buttons or keys on the pump. On off, increase decrease, switch button to change the infusion mode or silence the alarm, OK button to accept the setting, go to the next field, clear the alarm, or lock and unlock the device, start pause the device, and the bolus and purge button. Here are the light indicators on the pump. The alarm indicator, main power, unlock indicator, bolus indicator, infusion indicator, and KVO indicator. Installation of the device. Use the pole clamp on the back of the device to attach the device to an IV pole or to a cage. Then plug the power cord into the AC power outlet. Now let's see how to turn the pump on and off. To turn the pump on, press and hold the on-off key until the display lights up. To turn the pump off, press and hold the on-off key until the display counts down 3, 2, 1, and turns black. How to install the syringe. Make sure to connect the extension set to the syringe according to your clinical practices. Make sure that there is no air bubble in the syringe. Please note that you can only use the following standard size syringes on this device. 5 ml, 10 ml, 20 ml, 30 ml, and 50, 60 ml. The pump does not recognize other syringe sizes. When setting up the syringe, please make sure that the extension set is not connected to the patient. Place the flange of the device securely into the flange slot. Secure the syringe in place by turning the syringe holder to point upwards. Move the plunger head until it is close contact with the pusher. 
make sure that the syringe plunger head is securely held in place by the plunger locking arms. Finally, verify the extension set passes through the extension set holder to the patient. Selecting the right syringe from the menu. The pump allows 10 different syringe brands to choose from. The pump is already calibrated for BDUSA syringes. The other nine brands can be calibrated quickly with a few key presses. To select the right syringe, press the menu button and then select the syringe selection from the menu and press the OK button to enter the syringe selection interface. Use the up down arrows to choose the brand of your syringe and then press OK. If your brand is not listed, choose one of the custom options and proceed to calibrate the syringe. Calibrating a syringe. Syringe calibration determines parameters such as the infusion ending point and the cross-sectional area of the syringe and stores flow accuracy. First, prepare an empty syringe. Next, securely position the syringe on the device. Press and hold the on-off key to switch on the pump. Press the OK key when the display prompt currently selected syringe. Press the menu key to enter the menu. Select the advanced config from the menu. Press the OK key to enter the password interface. Prompt for password. Enter password 0804 and enter the advanced config menu. Use the up and down keys to select syringe calibration. Press the OK key to enter the syringe calibration menu. Use the up and down key to select the custom syringe to be calibrated. Press the OK key to enter. Use the up and down key to select the syringe sizes. Press the OK key to enter the calibration interface. Complete the calibration by the operational guide step. Priming the set. To prime the set, please follow these steps. First, make sure that the set is not connected to the patient while priming the set. Next, press the bolus key once and release. Immediately press the bolus key again and hold continuously to prime the infusion line. Make sure that there is no free flow or air remaining inside the infusion line after priming is complete. After following these steps, you may now connect the set to the patient according to your facility's best practices. Purge function. Please make sure that the set is not connected to a patient while using the purge function. The purge function is used to expel air from the syringe and extension set and can be used only when the pump is in a paused state. To start the purge function, double click the bolus key and keep the bolus key pressed when the pump is in a paused state in any mode. To stop the purge function, simply release the bolus key. When the pump is in the purge function, the upper left of the display shows purge, do not connect to patient. Let's discuss mode selection. First, please note the infusion must be paused for mode selection to be available. You cannot change a mode on this device when an infusion is running. There are four infusion modes available on the device, rate mode, time mode, dose mode, and drug library mode. The drug mode, comes with a pre-populated set of drugs. We do not recommend using this mode for veterinary use as this drug library is very rigid and cannot be configured for different dose rates. To change mode, follow the following steps. Press the MOD button. When you press the MOD button once, you will get the rate mode. When you press it twice, you will get the time mode. When you press it three times, you will get the dose mode and when you press it four times, you will get the drug library mode. Press the OK button to confirm the mode displayed on the screen. Setting up rate mode. To set up the rate mode, follow these steps. Set the rate value in mLs per hour, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the volume to be infused value in mLs, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the occlusion limit level to high, medium, or low, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. You can set the infusion duration time and solution volume VTBI parameters, and the flow rate is determined from these parameters. Press the start key to start the infusion. The infusion indicators light up and the word infusing will start blinking on the screen. 
Setting up time mode. To set up the time mode, follow these steps. First, set the time value in hours per minute, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the volume inside the syringe value in mLs, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the volume to be infused value in mLs, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the occlusion limit level to high, medium, or low, then press the OK key to accept the occlusion limit. Once all parameters are set, press the start key to start the infusion. The infusion indicators light up and the word infusing will start blinking on the screen. Setting up dose mode. In dose mode, you can set up drug mass, solution volume, weight, dose unit, dose, and volume to be infused. To set up the dose mode, follow these steps. Set the dose value, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the units, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the drug mass value in grams, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the weight value in kilograms, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the volume inside the syringe value in mLs, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the volume to be infused value in mLs, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Set the inclusion level to high, medium, or low, then press the switch key to go to the next parameter. Press the start key to start the infusion. The infusion indicator lights up and the word infusing will start blinking on the screen. Bolus function. To set up and program a bolus dose, press the MOD button until bolus setup shows up. Set the target bolus volume to be infused in mLs. Then press the switch button to select bolus rate. Then set up the bolus flow rate value in mLs per hour. Then press the OK button to save settings. Then press the start pause button to start the bolus. You can also deliver a bolus dose while running an infusion. Press the bolus button once and release. Then press the bolus button once again immediately and hold it continuously to administer a bolus dose. When done, simply release the bolus button to stop the bolus. Keep vein open function. The KVO function aims to keep the vein open. When the infused volume reaches the target volume during infusion, the setting flow rate automatically switches to KVO rate. The KVO rate on the pump is set up at 1 ml per hour for flow rates less than or equal to 10 ml per hour and 3 ml per hour for flow rates greater than 10 ml per hour. When the target volume is reached, the pump displays complete on the screen and the KVO indicator light starts blinking. To clearly alarm when the KVO infusion is complete, Press the OK button to mute the alarm and the switch button to clear the alarm. Starting or stopping the syringe pump. Starting the syringe pump. Once you have set up all the parameters for your infusion, press the start pause button to start the infusion. The pump screen will show status of infusing on the upper left part of the screen. Stopping the syringe pump. When the infusion is in progress and you need to stop the infusion, Press the start pause button to stop the infusion. The pump screen will show a status of pause on the upper left part of the screen. This brings us to the end of the video training for the Infusia SP7S syringe pump. As a reminder, please refer to the Infusia SP7S instructions for use for a complete list of warnings and precautions associated with the use of this product.